The advantages of local level finance is that people are able to mobilize their own resources and then they are able to make decisions on how they will use that money. So they mobilize it and they create their own rules that suit them and then they are able then to use that money in the way that they think best. I think that's the biggest advantage of local level finance. Local level finance works best when communities of the urban poor come together and create their own organizations, raise their money, and again, develop the rules to govern their own money. And then also take responsibility for ensuring that that money doesn't get lost and that their leaders, or all of them, are accountable to ensure the money is used for the purpose that, for which it is intended. We have various examples in Kenya where we have saving schemes that collect money from their members, and then lend it out. Many of these savings, especially like the ones we have in Nakuru, have been able to buy land using their own money and to allocate these lands to at least 230 of their own members and now are in the process of building their homes. So this is a power that lies in people saving and setting up their organizations that they feel they own and that are accountable to them. I think what is required is to continuously support these grassroots organizations so that they become stronger and that they are able to handle even more money, more resources, not necessarily money, more resources that they can begin to build their communities. I think that's what is really required to see that these institutions reach a point where these groups fully represent the aspirations of their communities and are able to push for the communities to get the basic things that they require from both the state and other sectors of community, of the society.